Time for a new restaurant review. Well, so far, all of the restaurants that I've reviewed have been my favorite places in Atlanta. I mean, there's thousands of wonderful restaurants and thousands and thousands of restaurants in Atlanta. And the one I want to talk about today is maybe not one of my favorites. Uh-oh, you knew it was coming. I like the colonnade, and I think it's fine. And if you're a really close friend of mine, you know what I mean when I say fine. Because most of the restaurants that I've reviewed so far have been just stellar. I mean, wonderful. Something that that they do better than anybody else. And I've actually already reviewed two different places that do Southern food, I think, really, really well. Matthew's Cafeteria and Tucker and the OK Cafe here in Atlanta. But the Colonnade does Southern food. It's a beautiful place. There's always a huge crowd. You always have to wait to get in. But it's just not my favorite place in Atlanta for Southern food. Was that a knock at my door? A lot of Atlantans, most Atlantans, know where the Colonnade is on Cheshire Ridge Road. It's a very nice place. The area used to be a little sketchier than it is now, but Cheshire Bridge has an interesting, fun, antique quality to it now. When you go to the Colonnade, you'll have a great time. They have a wonderful staff, and now it's, they don't just take cash. They take credit cards. You can get basically southern staples. Uh, fried chicken is really pretty good. The fried chicken livers, livers are very good, but... A lot of the vegetables to me don't taste as home cooked as some of the other places that I've talked about. They're fine. They taste good. Some of them taste like they came out of the freezer, came out of the can, went into the the hot uh, storage unit, and then they put it in the bowl and served it to you. Like I said, the food there is really good, and there are people that are going to really disagree with me that like it a lot. Hey, it's a gay institution and a gay hangout. You're going to see a lot of gay people there when you go. I may lose my gay card for that. And older people, and a lot of people who eat there once or twice a week. Like I said, it's actually hard to get into. I think the food is fine. Their turkey and dressing is fine. The fried chicken is actually good. The sides are all fine. You'll have a good time there. It is Southern cooking, but there's just better places in Atlanta for Southern food. I think it's... Some of the stuff seasoned well. The, there's very copious amounts. It's a huge portion of everything you get. You might like it better than I do. I guess I'm just spoiled because I had a mother and a grandmother and aunts who were just fantastic Southern cooks. I tried to learn and soak up everything that they did. And so when I go out and eat Southern, which is rare because I know a lot of people, that's what they want to eat. That's the way I cook or the way I can cook. And so I don't really want to go out and eat that way. So I'm very, very picky when I go out and eat Southern food because I want it to feel like soul food. I want it to have that feeling of of history in it and the love that's put into soul food that you can taste everything and every moment that went into it, that the vegetables are completely fresh, that the meat is is locally sourced, that everything is at the best it can be. And when it's not doesn't thrill me. So you knew I would have a review of somebody, some restaurant that wasn't going to be, you know, as glorified as all the others that I've done so far. I'll probably go to the Colonnade again. I'll give it another chance. It's a nice place. Go. The food's fine. Really.